Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Kitty Powers' Matchmaker. Alrighty, when we left off, we had managed to get one couple fully together, and uh, we have one letter from them, I'm assuming. Yep, just one. So, uh, let's read it. Hey! Penny and I are still in a relationship and are married now. We both enjoy horror movies together. Our union is so total that I can easily abide her infatuation with air kissing. Alright. This... The most pleasing thing is that I was completely honest with her. We are ecstatic with everything. We shall perform an experiment in your honor. Oh, yeah. That was... The, uh... Almost Greg Proopsy voice that I had to throw on there. Okay. Reputation up. It's already at max, so we're good. Okay. So, now it's just do another round and finish off that last customer we had. Wow, that's a little loud. I don't remember it being that loud. Hmm. Must have changed something recently. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> Ferris, that's right. <laughs> Ferris P word. <laughs> that's right. Thoughtical, <laughs> spicy, and... That's a classic geeky type right there. Yeah. I think we had you dating Elise Donkey. <laughs> Elsie Donkeyham. That's what it was. Woo, boy. I just want to double check that my audio settings didn't screw up. Give me a second. Huh. It won't let me do it. For some strange reason. Oh, well. Elsie Donkeyham will just, uh see how well this continues on because right now you got the most going for you you're matching at least in romance we're not sure about methodical and tradition yet but uh we'll see how that goes uh yeah we'll just go again we already discussed an interest uh Occupation and romance, that's right. I had to think about it for a second because it's been a bit. Mm. Alright, so we've already done Jerk King. Now I need to focus at least a little bit. Uh, that one. Good, okay. You're off to Route 69. Bring me a doggy bag. Uh, of course. Alright, and everything's working good on that. So let's just keep going. Keep going with the path we have already set out for ourselves. See if my coffee's cool enough for me to drink it. There we go. Uh, Rainy weather. Okay. Mike's it. My excitement levels are increasing. I forgot. Ah, Elsie, we meet again. Yeah. N oh God. Yeah, nice one, Ferris. You're looking all right, eh? This restaurant's well good, isn't it? I cannot argue with that sentiment. Oh God. I hate this Good evening. Can I take your uh -huh. word? Uh -huh. Affirmative. Uh -huh. What is your preferred sustenance? Mm. I think I want something hot with no meat. Mm. And I'm on a diet, so no dairy and all. Okay. Hot with no meat, right? Is that what she said? So no dairy, so macaroni and cheese is out. Uh, jambalaya, I think it's good. <laughs> Spicy seafood and rice. Mm. She said hot with no meat. Waldorf salad. What is that? Served cold. Oh, come on. She said hot with no meat. She said hot with no meat. That's, that counts. That counts. Ooh. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Mm. <sighs> Let's try jambalaya. Let's just try it because macaroni and cheese. She said no dairy. So, jambalaya, I guess. Uh -huh. I guess. Uh, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Damn it. Come on. You didn't give me a lot to work with here, woman. Mm. All right. 
horoscopes. We already know Ooh. that's bad. Fuck. I don't remember what interest we talked on. Ooh. Apparently you uh. have an interest in... Oh, fuck. I don't remember what you had an interest in. Oh, no. Is it going to the aquarium? Oh. <laughs> we talked about that already? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is all going badly already. I... I I knew we had talked about something in there, I just didn't remember what it was. Are we just not allowed to touch on interests anymore ever? Is that what it is? I could have sworn, I could have sworn you're able to talk about it at least a couple more times. I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about the look. Uh -huh. Screw it, why not? It's okay, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, like your outfit, man. There we go. I'm just gonna pop into the bog. <laughs> the bog, really? Is it? Is this a thing? Is this a normal? Is this a normal thing to call the bathroom? The bog? Someone British, please tell me. Check myself in the mirror. Okay. Something's gonna change. She changed her hair color. I'm back now, ain't I? Is everything in order? I just had a quick change, didn't I? What do you reckon? Uh, it's obviously hair color. Yeah! At least I got that part right. The improvements are clear and substantial. That's well nice of you to say, isn't it? Well, I mean... It's going good thus far. Uh, let's get rid of that. It's past you, does it? Sometimes it does, like the earlier where I caused that X to appear. Ah. Uh, mm, we talked about that, we talked about that, we did not talk about organization. When putting away your felt tip pens, I read that as something else for a second, do you organize them by shade or chuck them in the box? Oh, hang on, let me think. Organize them by shade. Holy shit. This is working out beautifully. We're in, well in control of the situation, isn't we? I am in full agreement. They're so laughable. The it's laughable. <laughs> nice pun. Look, the celebrated chef approaches our table. Good evening. I hope everything is to your satisfaction. Yeah, filled, yeah. <laughs> filled and all, I suppose. What? It filled a hole? It filled a hole? Filled an hole? I'm assuming that's what it is. And really? Is that a saying? Really? Okay. Suppose. <laughs> so what was it a, So what was it that you liked about it? Feel free to exaggerate wildly. Mm. What do you think then? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm, uh, mm, mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Overtone. Of cosmic amazingness, mm. presentation was of the greatest magnitude, mm. and unparalleled divine moistness. Mm. It was pan-dimensionally satisfying, mm. and it had a hint of supreme beingness. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Wonderful, I'm delighted to hear that. <laughs> Blimey, you know a lot of big words, don't ya? Right. Yeah, yeah. Gratitude. I have been memorizing the dictionary recently. Mm. Yeah, you definitely sound like it. Uh. Time to make a move. It would be expedient for us to leave then. Uh. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this goes. Uh. I have insufficient data to form an opinion. Uh, of course you do. Yeah. Okay. Do you envisage a further meeting? Mm. Um, dunno, let me think. Yeah. Go on, it would be entirely rational. Mm. Oh, okay then. Let's see what happens. I think I'm getting the hang of that accent. Not much. But... They seem to fit the criteria. I'm fairly hopeful about it. Well, let's keep it going because there's only so much, so much of these voices I can stand doing. Try to remember the order of desserts on the dessert trolley, because nobody else will. 
<laughs> Thanks, I guess. Well, some of the people watching, maybe. But that's about it. Okay, so. VIPs are the hardest customers to please. Just like me. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Dating is highly enjoyable, is it not? Sure. Let's try it again with LC Donkey Ham. <laughs> okay, so we talked about interests. That's absolutely off the table. We've talked about... Actually, you know what? <laughs> this is an insufficient use of our time. Shut up. I wanted to double check real quick. We talked about going to the aquarium, taxidermy, and night clubbing. Maybe if we try those, taxidermy and nightclub, if it comes up again. So, talked about organization, uh, romantic stuff, occupation, clothing. Ooh. Okay. All right. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. it ended up in the same spot. Aha! The sausage factory. My tummy's rumbling just thinking about it. Right. It probably, it probably would be pretty good. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's see how it goes. No rain, good weather. All right. Ooh. Alert, alert, nervousness levels rising. Sure. Uh. What are you saying? <laughs> Hail, Elsie. I hope you are in good health this darkening. Darkening? Mm. <laughs> Alright, Ferris, here we are again. I cannot fault that observation. Blimey, it's our third date, isn't it? Don't they look nice together? Right. <laughs> Another cracking choice with the restaurant, eh? In that case, we are in complete agreement. <clears throat> good evening. Are you ready to order? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Something hot with red meat. <laughs> Dieting so nothing fried. I'm assuming this is uh. pork and beef sausage oh. smoked and then served cold. Served cold. What? Uh. Uh, nothing fried, so the Schweinshacks doesn't look like it fits the bill. The Pichelsteiner? I don't fuck. Uh. Meat and vegetable stew. Well, stews are usually hot. Let's try it. Uh. <laughs> Two rations of Pichelsteiner. Pichelsteiner? I, pff, I'm assuming it's Pichelsteiner. I'm assuming. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not very good with German. I have cursory knowledge at best. Much like I do with Latin. <laughs> Great! Sounds lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, it does. I am in full agreement. <laughs> it worked. Okay. So, that won't work out. We talked about that. We talked about that. So, fucking let's go. The weather. Uh. Why not? <laughs> Oh. The weather was good. Uh. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Uh. Yeah. I weathered the storm. I, said, I hope we talk. I hope we start talking about something more interesting soon. <clears throat> yeah, mm. me too. La, 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 la. Dinner is served. Ah, uh, let's hope something decent pops up. Uh -huh. Fuck. All right. Well. Okay, tradition. Uh -huh, there we uh -huh. go. When picking a holiday, would you prefer uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere you've enjoyed before uh -huh, uh -huh. or somewhere new and exotic? Mm. Oh, hang on, let me think. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> new and exotic. Mm. First time that failed on us. Uh, uh, let's go. <laughs> Please just let it work out. Please. Okay, we're good. 
I would have liked the 25, but I guess this works. So, definitely somewhere new and exotic. We're all technoed up, ain't we? I'm in full agreement. Got any ripping yarns to tell me? Affirmative. Here is one you might enjoy. Oh, God. I once appeared on an academic televisual quiz program. Whoops. I had a temporary memory lapse. Oh, wait. I found it. I found a good one. When I was younger, I designed an autonomous vehicle. And I won a special award for innovation ingenuity. Nice one. That sounds all right. Affirmative. It was the best thing since the Big Bang. All right, don't overhype yourself there, bud. Please give me something I haven't talked about before. Damn it. All right, let's try horoscope. Uh -huh. right. What is your opinion of horoscopes? Mm. I think they are right. I think they are right. Wrote. <laughs> Fucking broken mouth. I think they're a right load of rubbish. Ooh. They are superstitious and irrational. Ooh. Oh, thank God, it worked out in any way. <laughs> yeah, astrology's a right load of old tosh. Yeah, we yeah. are in total agreement. Uh -huh. Shall we call it a night? Uh, mm. I predict the waiter will be located in the immediate vicinity. Uh, uh, I believe a vague memory of the waiter's features. Oh, wait, so do mm. I. Shit. Uh, I think it was Adrian. I remember the hair was short and also it looked better than that. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> uh, Pardon me. Here is your bill. You have uh, our gratitude. Uh, nice one. I'd forgotten what they'd look like. Uh, yeah. My memory banks are functioning uh, 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 at normal levels. Uh, the waiter looked so pleased you remembered them. Yeah, a little. Oh. It's kind of nice. They want to close the restaurant. Uh, uh, then we should leave by the quickest means. Uh, you better like her, motherfucker. Uh, uh, they fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Well then, fucking hell yeah, let's go with it. Hmm. So, would you like to be my significant other? <laughs> yeah, took your time asking, didn't ya? <laughs> yeah. Romance uh, levels are at maximum. Talk about a never-ending story. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Took way too long. But it worked out in the end. Three dates and love. Beautiful. And also, that mun is beautiful, too. Almost. Almost the next level. Almost. Damn it. All right, well... Active personalities love exercise and have lots of get up and go. Ah, okay then. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Drinking some of my coffee, because why not? Hey. Alrighty. I don't remember any of these people. Although I like the look of you. Let's go with you. I'm Fanny. I'm a tell. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're what? I'm Fanny. I'm a telepath. And I'm looking for a man. Okay. Greetings. My name is Fanny. I'm a telepath and I'm looking for a man. I am interested in watching zombie movies, laptops, and studying graphs. You're a geek, aren't you? You're a geek. <laughs> now I have a preference for hazel eyes and blonde hair. Well, I used to have blonde hair a while ago. <laughs> uh, I'm carefree, experimental, and romantic. Can you locate a suitable love match? They're a bit of a geeky type, aren't they? Yeah, I had a feeling. So, telepath. Geeky type. Okay, then. I'm um, watching zombie movies, laptops, and studying graphs. Hazel eyes, blonde hair. The blonde hair... Blonde hair? <laughs> Fucking that accent from the first woman is starting to leak into my brain. The uh, blonde hair matches, and he likes your green eyes. That's a good... That's a good match. Um, fantasy princesses... So he's into Disney, okay. Daytime TV and post-apocalypse movies. Ah, there's some overlap with zombie movies there. That's fine. That's all right. 
And, uh, yeah. Two stars for job, but the, uh, the horoscope doesn't match. Let's, let's keep looking. Keep looking for now. Same thing. Likes his blonde hair. She, she has her eyes and an advantage for him, I guess. That was what my brain was trying to do. Family trees, dwarven kingdoms, and game consoles. Well, I mean, geeky type, for sure. Uh, jouster. Same problem. Horoscope doesn't match. It's fine. Ooh. Works with you. She doesn't have anything that interests him too much. Discussing politics. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like me. High-end design and writing reviews. Huh. Diego Farmberg. Dennis Bean D Diner. And Bertie Dinglebent. <laughs> He has a bent dingle. Okay. All right. Enough Enough jokes at the name. <laughs> Even though it's very easy to make. Uh, Freddy Spangle Ham. All righty. That's a name. Um, battle reenactments. Pet tarantulas collecting old books. Oh, the uh, horoscopes match. Huh. Club DJ. The horoscopes still match. Going to the aquarium, dark comedy, and fire juggling. Neither of them like the look of each other. That's a, that's fine, I guess. Blonde hair, you like that at least. Dubstep, startup businesses, and designer accessories. You fucking dingus. Okay, body piercing technician. She uh, He likes her eyes, but she doesn't like anything on him. Sudoku, space travel, and ghost hunting. Um, got, he likes her hair, nothing else matches really well, Aquarius, yeah, it doesn't work, um, Will Middlefax, huh, yeah, nothing else there either, I guess, uh, the one that worked best was, uh, Birdie Dinglebent. <laughs> So let's try it. Ah. Why not? This point's first date doesn't really matter what I pick. In fact, I'm looking upwards as I pick this. Italian! Mario okay. Mansion, hey? That's a fancy choice. If you want to call it that, sure. Uh, Birdie mm. liked her eyes. Let's try and go for broken. Get the hair color liked to. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. So, girl of his dreams. Let's see if he's the boy of your dreams. Mario's Mansion. Good weather. Okay. I'm eager to meet my potential soulmate. I'm a fe I have a feeling it's already going to be this voice. God damn it! Fuck! I knew it! I knew it! Okay. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Bertie. Yeah. Yes, I am. You must be Fanny. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. Here we go again. You're telling me. You're right on time. Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. <laughs> oh, this place is very fancy. It is arguably in the top percentile. I love your green eyes. Gratitudes, they are both genuine as well. Your blonde hair is giving me a pleasant sensation. That's a weird one. <laughs> Thanks, I just had it done. Perhaps you could knit a shirt out of it. Maybe. I love your dark brown hair, too. Excellent, I shall make a note of your pleasant comment. <clears throat> That's a look. <laughs> I am, I'm not going to comment on, you know, makeup, you know, matching at all. Because, I mean, hey, she can do her. And uh, it's not saying that it's bad. I'm saying it wasn't what I was expecting <laughs> at all. That just... Mm. 
That threw me for a loop. Okay, may I take your order? <laughs> Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? <laughs> like something hot with the red meat. Also, you hate mushrooms. Well, I think it's a failure. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, this was chicken, mayonnaise, onion, carrots, oh. and herbs served cold. Beef filled pasta parcels. Ravioli di manzo. Sounds already good. Uh, let's, let's go with it. <laughs> I will require two portions of ravioli di manzo, please. <laughs> I'm butchering the pronunciation. I don't care. <laughs> Sounds <Yeah>. delicious. <laughs> yes, it does. I am in full agreement. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Fire. Uh, organization. Mm. Let's see. As far as your car goes, do you do regular maintenance or drive it until it blows up? Good question. Probably drive it until it blows up. <laughs> so how about you? Definitely drive it until it blows up. Don't do this, kids. Do not do this. Okay. Let's just take it as a comment. We are in agreement. How about no? Dinner is served. Mm. All right. Let's see how this goes. Mm. We've already done organization. Let's do occupation. Mm. Please tell me your occupation, Bertie. Uh, mm. I'm actually an archaeologist. Mm. You like it. This is positive news. Uh, yes, uh, it is, actually. Mm. So, Fanny, what do you do? Mm. Telepath. <laughs> That's a weird thing to admit to this early on, but hey. Why not? I'm currently employed as a telepath. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Really? Really? This boy doesn't like mushrooms and he likes the telepath job. He's weird. He's weird. You're weird too. Let's just get it on between the two of you. Let's just go. Just do it. Do it. Like right here in the restaurant right now. Go. Alright. Gratitude for your kind words. Oh! It would be logical to hold it in. Um. Thank you. Uh. Fuck. How was I to know that it would go right up? Whoa. Okay. That sounded like a one cheek sneak. Sure, why not? What's that nasty smell? <laughs> Lie about it. Lie about it. Lie your ass off. Well, you kind of already ripped ass quite a bit, so I mean... Okay. <laughs> Ten coins! <laughs> Woo! I do not know. It was not me. The evidence would point to the waiter being the culprit. Oh, uh... Whoever it was, they need to see a doctor. Oh. I believe I got away with it. Ah. Oh boy, that could have been a disaster. And... Ah. Clothing, mm. why not? What is your analysis of my outfit? Ah. It's quite nice, actually. I appreciate your kind comment. So, do you like my outfit? Yeah. Your fashion sense is off the pie chart. Again, that's not how that fucking chart works. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Look, the celebrated chef appro approaches the table and also approaches. He's poaching the deer that is outside this restaurant. Good evening to you both. I trust the food was to your liking. Yes, it was lovely. So what was it you enjoyed about it? You may over-embellish if you wish. He's fishing for compliments. What do you think? Okay. Whoa! Th six of them! Jesus. An unparalleled divine moistness. It was pan-dimensionally satisfying. Uh. Oh! <laughs> never, I repeat, never upset the chef. I know that. I know that. I goofed up. I 
thought that was the right one. They gave me like six of them. Find them relatively attractive. Well, considering that fuck up, we should probably play it safe. Let's go. I, can I see you again? <laughs> Do you envisage a further meeting? Uh, yes, why not? <laughs> Excellent. I will add it to my itinerary. All right. My romantic ambitions are fulfilled. It's a dream come true. At least he talks normally. Okay. All right. So, that last one went goofy because they gave me a hard one. <laughs> they added six to that last one. That was bullshit. But, I think we're good. I think we're good. Next date should seal the deal. And, uh, we at least completed one couple's uh, love match. So, there's that. But, uh... I think after this one, we're going to retire, retire a bit. I think we're going to retire from the matchmaking matchmaking gig. Because, uh, quite frankly, we've been going on for a while. And, uh, to be fair, I was, you know, I wasn't expecting for this to go as long as it was. And uh, for anyone to like it as much as it did, did get liked. So, there was that. But, uh, yeah, I just... I kind of want to move on to something different, you know? Considering, uh, at a certain point, this all becomes pretty much the same. And it's just me sucking a lot <laughs> sometimes. But, that said, I do like the game. I do recommend you guys play it. And, uh, maybe later on I'll check in and see what you guys are doing. Should, you know, add me <laughs> on Xbox Live. Gamer tags right there obviously. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and trying our damnedest to match up new people, and usually it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, last one on the uh, last question was a bit of a doozy, but uh, it wasn't really a question. It was more of a situation, but nonetheless, uh, it was, you know, a thing. And we've gotten quite a track record thus far, so I think it's best to retire on top for you.